brand new tonight at 5.30. For many adults, coffee is a regular part of the day, but now more tweens and teens are incorporating it into their regular routines, too. Yeah, NBC Charlotte's Sarah French joining us now. You've been looking into this. Uh, kids and caffeine, is it dangerous? Well, that's what some doctors say, and it's a really hot topic among a lot of moms. Children's and adolescents are the fastest growing population of caffeine users, but moms want to know, is it safe? That's a big question. Well, here's the truth about the popularity of coffee and kids. I need the energy in the morning. <laughs> Riley O'Connor is like a lot of young teens. I have a lot of friends who drink coffee. Most days she grabs a cup before school. While research shows coffee might reduce the risk of stroke and type 2 diabetes in adults, little research has been done on the impacts on children. Caffeine is a drug. A very safe drug by FDA standards. The stimulant impacts the nervous system. In fact, caffeine can last in the body for up to eight hours. <laughs> We talked to Dr. Pretty Mackins about the possible problems it can present for teens. Caffeine can cause uh, heart rate changes. Coffee is also acidic. Translation, bad for your tea. And there is some evidence that caffeine can affect the development and foundation of bones. But that's not the biggest problem. Sleep and getting enough sleep with scheduling and homework and things like that are really, really major issues for children in the U.S. So adding a drug that potentially affects sleep is problematic and something that parents should consider. School is just so much work and you need to like be focused when you're doing it. Dr. Mackin says not so fast. Usually you think of it as helping concentration, but in a child and depending on how much they take, it can um, be negative for concentration. Apparently it's bad for like your growth and stuff. The idea made for a good scene in the classic movie Clueless. That might stop my growth. I want to be 5'10 like Cindy Crawford. But that's one thing you don't have to worry about. Coffee will not stunt your growth. However, too much caffeine from any source can be a real danger. A South Carolina teen died after drinking a 16 ounce energy drink, a latte and a large soda, all within two hours. Officials called it a caffeine induced cardiac event. While Dr. Mackins does not recommend coffee for kids as there is no health benefit, she says one cup occasionally is not likely to have a harmful or serious impact. But if you ask the kids, skipping it just might. I don't know if I can get through the whole day without it. So coffee has five times more caffeine per serving than soda. For adults, three to five cups of coffee a day is considered safe, according to the Dietary Guidelines for Americans. The guidelines don't say what is a safe level for caffeine for kids. But again, the doctors say it is a drug, so you don't want to expose your kids to that too early. But we all need it, like, every day. I'm like, coffee, coffee. And it's such like a sugary <laughs> drink now. You think of it like a milkshake for some of these kids. You know they're getting the frappuccino. Exactly, and yeah. So I could see how that happens. Starbucks kind of glamorizes right. it. Sure do. But I love I love my Starbucks. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks guys.